Hello everyone, Tech Tools with Craig Chamberlain here. We are in episode 8 of the Faster Vista series where I show you how to speed up your Windows Vista operating system. Today's video, we're going to talk about memory. As you can see, in the Windows Vista system requirements, on Home Basic, they recommend 512 megabytes of memory. This is by Microsoft. And on Home Premium, Business, and Ultimate, which most of you probably have, it's one gigabyte of memory. Now, this is a minimum in my opinion. Actually, they call it a recommended. But this is actually a minimum for running your operating system and your operating system alone, which means if you're trying to run games or any other kind of semi-memory intensive application on top of one gigabyte, I usually double that because, well, memory is cheap. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to see how much memory you have. Click your start button, type as, type MSINFO32, MSINFO32, go up and select it. Here you'll get your system summary and on the right hand side all you need to do is scroll down to installed physical memory, it'll tell you how much you have. Now if you have one gigabyte like I do, that's really not enough. So let's say I need to upgrade my computer. So next thing we're going to do is just go to my website and we're going to use the Corsair Memory Finder utility. Now you can just go to Corsair's website, but uh, I have it under the section for free software tools. You can just go ahead and select it. Again my website is PCMachina.com, it's on the right hand side in the description. Select the Memory Finder. This tool will make it extremely easy to actually find an upgrade for your system. So you just need to select your system type. Let's say I have a desktop. My manufacturer is Dell. Let's just say it's a Dimension 3000. And then we're going to click search. And what you need to really know is here on the right hand side, this is all the information regarding your memory. And one of the really nice things about the memory finder, it also tells you the maximum amount of memory allowed in your system and how many slots you have. So basically you'll know, okay, well I have a maximum of two gigabytes and I uh, need this speed. So if I go to newegg.com or anything like that, I can actually pick which memory stick I want. But even better, you could just select buy now. And what this is going to do is this is actually pretty expensive memory because it's older system memory. Yours will probably be a lot cheaper than this if you're running a relatively new computer with like DDR2 memory. This one has DDR1. So if I go to Newegg.com, and instead of actually purchasing the memory, select desktop memory at the top. On the left hand side, you can select the actual speed that we were looking at. And we had 184 pin DDR SD RAM, as you can see from the stats at the Corsair website. See? 184 pin DIM right there. And we're looking for DDR333. So I'm going to go back to the Newegg. I'm going to go to 184 pin DDR SD RAM. I'm going to go to 1 gigabyte modules. And then I'm going to go to my speed, DDR333. And the really th nice thing about Newegg is they do let you search by best rating, which I have it as my default search. So maybe make sure you check this drop down and do best rating. And then what you can do is, is you can actually look at the memory that's like one awards and what's the best price. And you can also sort by price as well. But $32 is $8 cheaper than the Corsair. But hey, that's the best way to do it. That's all there is to this episode. As always, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to leave comments and ratings. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. And like I said, if you got a Vista and you're running all the arrow effects, I recommend running two gigabytes. If you've disabled all your arrow effects, then uh, you should probably be okay with one gigabyte, I'd say.